and I, we've known each other for the last two years. We've done some uh, training of uh, girls and guys in Pakistan and Britain, and we've also had a, uh, and conducted a very successful hackathon for um, the youth, uh, mostly women in Pakistan. So yeah, back again this year and excited to take this globally with her. Thanks. Thank you, Shamim. Uh, and Carl, we, we're introducing ourselves right now. Uh, my name is Carl Fravel. I'm um, very active in Decentraland and run some of the districts there, including the conference center, where we'll be hosting the opening ceremonies for the plant wide hack of the Han weekend of the 29th of May. And uh, we're going to do a tour. A yes, yes, we do. Yes. Uh, and uh, Faizan, uh, if, if I'm uh, pronouncing your name correctly. Hi, absolutely right. My name is Faizan. Uh, I am from Dubai, originally from Pakistan. Uh, I just basically, I bought, I love the crypto concept and decentralization. And I even bought some Ethereum and Bitcoin, all this stuff. Uh, by profession, I am a senior software engineer uh, in Amazon Middle East. Okay. And awesome. I just want to join you guys to know about what's going on. That's it. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Faizan. Uh, uh, Tanya? Hi there, yeah. Um, I'm Tanya. I'm from Canada. I'm super excited to see what's in store today. I'm an innovator at the Knowledge Society, currently focusing in artificial intelligence. I do have some background knowledge in blockchain um, and other emerging technologies as well. But overall, I'm super excited for what's in store today. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Kevin? Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kevin and I'm from Toronto. Uh, I'm the co-founder of Metis Lab. Currently we're building a protocol to uh, help to manage and governance for the you know, decentralized uh, autonomous company. And I knew uh, Elena for two years. I have some cooperation before, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, so I think this is our group for today. Uh, we, uh, we're glad that we do it kind of in, a, in a smaller groups because uh, we would like everyone to get a good hand, um, hand on experience on the Decentraland. So, Ke Carl, can you please tell us a little bit more about Decentraland and uh, what is it how, it, how it's built and what is unique about it? Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> there are a number of uh, virtual realities, virtual worlds now. Uh, Second Life, of course, is the granddaddy, grandmother of them all. Um, been around for 16 years or something like now. Uh, nearly a million people have accounts. So um, it's so vast you would never be able to visit it all in any of the time you'd be able to, to spend with it. Decentraland, on the other hand, is quite new. Um, the uh, company was... Uh, the project was put together in 2017 um, and uh, they had a, a fundraising event as, a, as an ICO. They raised $25 million in about 30 seconds. Um, I think it was a record. Uh, yes. And um, their model is that the land deeds, the ownership of the land is recorded on the blockchain and so it's yours permanently if you own it. It doesn't depend on the company and they're um, technology platform is distributed and decentralized and becoming more and more so and they're moving their assets and governance to uh, of a DAO and a foundation so that you know the company could literally walk walk away or, or shut down or fail or do something else <laughs> spend their money um, some other way and uh, the, the world will continue um, so it's it's almost completely unique in that respect as a virtual world. Um, there's, I think there's one or two crypto voxels and maybe a couple of others now that are, that are trying to be in that space, but they don't have near the, the volume or adoption. Um, there are about 9,000 landowners in Decentraland. Um, 90,000, 92,000 parcels of land. Uh, it's a big place. I have not seen more than a small fraction of it myself. I got involved uh, very early on. I was just really lucky. I got introduced to crypto at a, at a really good time um, to get involved in Decentraland. And uh, they brought me on as an advisor uh, fairly early on because of my experience with Second Life and with writing some, uh, a book about 
uh, building virtual reality experiences. So um, they brought me on as an advisor. Um, my compensation all turned into land and mana for uh, being involved in Decentraland. And so um, I got involved in a number of districts and, and also have some private land. But the district I've been given uh, my most love and attention to is the conference center, which I founded because I just thought it was really important to have a place where people from anywhere can get together to confer the conference center. Um, to consult, to plan, to ideate, to socialize, to um, develop new ways of, of working together. So um, it's a fairly large district. Um, there's probably more land than any um, conference center in the, re in the physical world has. Um, and uh, if you want to know more about the philosophy of, of why I put it together, so if I publish some uh, a Medium article or two on that. So... Awesome. Thank you so much, Carl. Yes. And I just want to add a little bit that uh, all, every piece of land in there in this decentral land is a representation of, we call it non-fungible token. It means that it's a collectible. It's very unique. So every piece is a very unique. Uh, that's what it makes. You cannot duplicate it. And there's only limited uh, number of them of these tokens um, uh, in, in this land in the blockchain. And that's why they are valuable, right? So they're because you cannot, uh, you know, duplicate, you cannot replicate, you cannot multiply them, and there's only a certain amount of them, they are valuable. So that's, uh, that's why you, we have the deeds and the owners and uh, all of this stuff. And it's all recorded and, on the blockchain. And, and I wanted to kind of add another layer, and that is, it is not only a world, but it's a platform for building virtual experience. Um, and so... Uh, I have built a conference center because I figured that was a type of use of this platform that would be beneficial to humanity. But you can build all kinds of things on it. You can build games. You could build learning experiences. The next district to the west from the conference center, which I am also involved with, is the Decentraland University. Um, and, you know, there's a number of schools being created there. We created a VR academy early on. And the inaugural course uh, of the university was how to build uh, scenes and uh, experiences in Decentraland. So um, it can be a place where hackathon groups could meet. It could be a place where hackathon groups could learn and work together, but it also could be a platform on which a hackathon project might live. You might use the technology for something that it's doing. So um, right. I just wanted to set that context before we Learning De definitely, and definitely. And uh, yeah, this is our idea as well. And because it's all kind of people owned and uh, and this is, yeah, so you can build on a blockchain and you basically can own your own business just right there in the decentralized. land. So that's how it works. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we have a couple of people joined us, so um, we will not spend any, on, any more time on introductions because we already spent 10 minutes. Um, if you want us to join us tomorrow, it's going to be another session as well. Uh, so, but we're going to do it today, and for this, I am going to share the screen with you and just walk you through the first steps, and I would like you to try it with me as uh, also, okay? Um, so let me just share my screen and bear with me. Uh, by the way, you, uh, it's, it's uh, right now Decentraland available only on the desktop computers, right? So you have to connect with your desktop computer. If you connect in with your phone, you can just watch today, but you will not be able to try. If you have an ability to go to your desktop computer to try it on, then uh, of course, please do it. Uh, you can also uh, follow along if you, uh, you know, if you can, you know, minimize the screen and navigate between two screens, but I'm just show, going to show you a uh, little quick here. So you go to URL decentralland.org. And also, if you can see uh, start exploring button, you just use the start exploring. And that's what it, uh, what it will do. It will uh, load the page. It, and the first time it takes maybe some time to load. Uh, so the, the whole experience is a browser based. So, so uh, you don't need to install anything on your computer. It's all going to be in your browser. And that's what is great about it. So you, all you need for this is just your internet browser. 
Is there any recommendation, Carl, of which, which browsers best for this? Um, I use Chrome uh, very successfully. Uh, I know that Firestorm works mostly, but it has a little trouble sometimes with people seeing each other. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Brave, as far as I know, also works flawlessly. I just haven't used it very much. Awesome. Okay. So if you have, have these browsers, then you can uh, do it. So what, what is going to, it's, it's almost uh, loaded right now. So we're just going to wait until the, first, like the last scene loads. And, and it opens up on the tutorial that you needed to go through in order just to learn how to walk. So feel like a little bit like a kid there, you know, just uh, start to even like the walking. While my page is loading, maybe you can also switch to your browser and do it at, 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 in the meantime uh, as well. Okay, so right now what, what the, it loads into the page where you build your avatar. And I have to say to you right up front that in order to have a permanent avatar and a permanent nickname, uh, there is a cost associated with it, but it's not because you know the owners of this platform are greedy, it's, be, it's preventing a spam. So there is a small cost to generate, so the, the spammers would not create many, many avatars and nicknames and flood the system. So that's that's. In the fact, the Decentraland burns the mana that they get for this. There you go. They're so even the cost, yeah. yeah. So they're it, burning. Like, they're burning mana for lots of reasons, mm -hmm. uh, and lots of, lots of excuses for burning mana to mm -hmm. raise the the value of it. But um, so yeah, it's really just to keep it robots from buying up all the names. So yeah, for, the, for, for those of you who, who are not very familiar with uh, um, crypto money and what burns means, uh, so mana is, is the currency that's used inside this platform. This is uh, basically a cryptocurrency that was created for this platform called mana. And of course it's kind of gaming currency name. Uh, yes, so, so burning means that um, it's get destroyed like when you pay it uh, for example for your avatar it get destroyed so the inflation it will not be inflated right so every time you pay so, so the value of the man is actually grows that so that that's for the reason like this is one of the reasons why the um platforms choose to burn the coins so this is this is one of the reasons all right so uh for this Experience, yeah, you can choose your avatar. Keep in mind that because we, in this session, we're not gonna pay any, you know, any money or anything like this, it's gonna be all for free. So don't maybe spend too much time on it. And uh, so, so once, right now my avatar is loaded, I'm just clicking done and that's it. So I'm going to go and proceed into tutorial. So you're going to get into the scene like this. And the first thing you need to do, you need to, of course, there's a pop-up window with the WASAD directional keys and also how to, um, there is a cursor. So you need to click right in the center of the screen in this little dot in order to lock the cursor. And after that, you can use W or S to move forward and back and A and D to move side to side. And also to use your mouse to look around and look at uh, every direction like this. Okay, now I want everybody to go and try it. And I, I would like everybody to bring at this point here and um, let me know if you have any difficulties. Uh, unmute yourself, tell me if you have any difficulties and we will help you. Please try it. So you need to go to decentraland.org and click start exploring. And let me know when you're done and you are end up, end up in this place. I like the way that in this tutorial, they um, every little while they'll pop up some more information, mm -hmm. like uh, telling you that the goal of this tutorial is to actually get out through that portal. 
exactly the first time I got here it wasn't that obvious for me that's why I create I decided to create my own tutorial because um, I was stuck I, like I, I, I was I was stuck right in that wall in this green wall and couldn't go any further <laughs> <laughs> so that was like like this for me and I used to play mm -hmm. games you know when I was uh, uh, when I had time <laughs> to do it. So I wasn't that completely new before the games, but I, I still got stuck in the, in, the, in the wall anyways. Okay, so let me know who got there already. So yeah, I'm there, it looks good. Everything yeah, it looks perfect. good, all right, awesome. Yeah, Shamim got there. Yay. Anyone else? So, Shamim, were you able to lock the cursor and move and use W, S, and A, and D? Yes, everything. Okay. But awesome. I, I enjoyed so that was fun. But yeah, <laughs> good, was good, fun. good. All right. Yes. Uh, so, 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 guys, this is the portal. Um, you see that's the arch. Uh, with the fancy symbols on it lit up. Uh, this is the portal that we need to get to. But in order to get to there, we will follow this error. By the way, you can also use back and forward errors and side to side to move as well here in the central end. So not only WASD, but it's also the, core, the errors uh, on your keyboard, right? The advantage Which, for getting familiar with the, the WASD keys, WASD, that they, they're sort of the same layout as arrows would be, you know, mm -hmm. WS for forward and back, and e and for side to side, but um, it leaves your right hand free to use the mouse. Exactly, exactly, yes. So guys, any, anyone did not get here and not, uh, yeah, don't, and don't forget to, once you get here to click right at the center of the screen with your mouse, so it, it will be locked. And then you can, you know, um, rotate your avatar like this. All right, so now I want you to try something that uh, you're going to see your avatar from the side. You, you press V. And then... Uh, v is in view. V is in view, yes. Unfortunately, I don't see my... There, there's my avatar. Okay, yeah. So when it changes, it changes that's the camera view. And then if you, you pr press V back, so you now the first person, right? And then if you press V, you are the third person, right? So you now you can see how your avatar moves. There. After you've done that, I would like you to try to space, to jump. So make your avatar jump. The space bar. <laughs> space bar, space bar to jump. Exactly. After you're done with that, you have to head to this arrow and right into the water, right? So if you're stuck, then space bar and W to get over the obstacles. My avatar is now very wet, so that there you go. And this virtual world has insta dry. <laughs> yes. You're awesome. And by the way, this virtual world world is virus free. There's no COVID in there, right. which we're all, you know, very concerned about. Yeah. So once you get here, you need to walk through this the bridge and into the portal. All right. Now I want to confirm that everybody actually was able to get into this point. Okay, guys, how are you doing with that? You can use your, um, uh, in order actually to unlock the cursor and use the, your mouse, you have to cl click escape. All right. All right, so um, da, 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 we have, all right, so we, have, we just had the, our um, United Emirates uh, ambassador joined, but uh, she unfortunately had to reload. I'm not sure if she had, a, yeah. You're here, right? Okay. So Aya, is that you, right? You're here. Yes, great, great, awesome. Okay. Uh, 
I ended up in a different place. It's like, I don't know, gardening. It's all green. Okay, uh, so, I uh -huh. so I will stop sharing. Like, try to share your screen so we can see where you got. Okay. You complete the tutorial, you end up in the world instead of in the tutorial. And things around you may take a while to render because there's lots of stuff loading. And mm -hmm. while it's lender, uh, loading, it has this kind of phantom green box. Yeah, so maybe, maybe that's what you see. Load. But uh, if you can share uh, your screen and we can see it, we can better help you. So let me know uh, if you can share the your screen. Um, I'm trying. I don't know. It's not. Um, you can go on because I, I have to do do something with the system preferences and then I'll tell you later. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, everybody else, I, I assume that you are, you're good. If, you, if you're not, um, if you didn't get where, where I am right now, let me know, send me a message or just unmute your phone, uh, sorry, unmute your microphone and tell me. So I just entered the portal and I'm somewhere else in some other. Yes, Emirates. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. So just just to, wait, wait, for there. wait for us there. Wait, wait for us there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm I'm now going to walk through the portal. By the way, I don't. I'm not forgetting to. All right, that's good. To lock my cursor and I'm gonna go through the portal. Like this. Yeah, so and now it's actually now my tutorial has ended. So it's uh, now I know how to walk and hopefully you do too. And we're ready to explore further. So at this point, what we want to do here is um, actually even and even on the screen while it's loading, it's have my cursor locked. So I have to press escape to do that. So it's I, I ended up now in a decentral land, right? Um, so what we're going to do right now, we're going to open another tab and we uh, will type dclconf.com. So here are the website for the Decentraland Conference Center. It's, uh, it's it exactly where um, Carl will, will go into guide us through uh, the, the properties that are there and the, also where we'll be, we will be holding our opening ceremony. Um, you can, these pictures are clickable. You can actually, to get there, you can click on any of the pictures. But there is one trick and I'm going to show you. So once you get to this website, dclconf.com, and you click on the picture, we're going to be ending in exactly in this decentral land. But for better experience, please close the previous decentral land tab. So you have only one tab open at, at the time, right? So I just closed the previous one, opening this one. Because otherwise your browser will complain that you, it will say that there is another session open and they interfere. So just close the previous one uh, while the, this one is loading, if it makes sense. Please try that. Hope you're following me along. Let me know. Let me, let me just mention uh, something that will be useful to know. If yes. you look at the URL mm -hmm. up at the top of the browser when you're in world, it should start with play.decentraland.org. Mm -hmm. And then there's a parameter for position. Yeah. And percentage 2C is, means comma. So mm -hmm. the, the coordinates where we are are 11 east and 94 north. Those are, those are parcels. So this, is, this is the 11? Mm -hmm. and 11 this to the is east 94. of the center and, and 94, 94 parcels to the north mm -hmm. of the center. And then the realm part is a, um, it's a, Unicorn. It's a, people of, yeah. a, a group of people who can see and chat with each other. Um, there is a limit how many can see and chat with each other at once. So they've used this uh, realm system to keep things from getting bogged down. Uh, it can hold 50 people at a time. And Elaine and I are working on ways to make it possible to have a conference with a lot more than 50 people. But um, as we see that other people are arriving. Um, 
Yeah, I can see. I can see other people. <laughs> yes, yes, we all, all here. Right this is yes. Spot. You see somebody because somebody had the yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have to lock my cursor, and yes, all right. So there. Oh, by the way, uh, because now we are in another session, and remember how I told you that your avatar will be different because it's it it will only be, be will be stick for the if once you purchase you know the name and um, uh, the avatar. Uh, so it, it's going to be different. I wonder how my avatar looks like. There you go. I'm a guy. <laughs> yeah. We have to observe social distancing here as well. Sorry, say it, Shimim, say it again. Now that we're all arriving, do we have to observe social distancing here as well? No. <laughs> no, there's no, no such requirement here. It can no. actually be superimposed you, in the same it, space. Exactly. No exactly. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I have some message here. So that's... Uh, By the way, um, while you're in the session, you could switch back your avatar in the upper right corner, the little icon up there of the person. You can switch it back quickly to if you wanted to be uh, the right gender or something. Um, the little face in the upper right corner. If you click on it, you'll get a, an avatar. Oops. It's, uh, just a second. I, 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 I had to walk out of the screen because I could not see the chat. And there is oh. a message in the chat. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So if okay. you click on the, um, the little face up in the corner. The face can, up in the corner here. Yeah, yes. And pick avatars. Yeah. Avatar and you can switch back to. So switch back to, to yeah. the one that I use. Right. There you go. Well, yeah. at least I, because I, I would, I would like yeah, to be a just girl. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. stick if you don't have a uh, what they call a passport. Mm -hmm. So the passport is your identity and your storage of your avatar settings and stuff like that. There you go. Yeah. So at least for this session, uh, it will be you know my avatar mm -hmm. will be safe. And now I, I can see what is okay. There you go. Yep. Yeah. I'm back. All right. So if you walk forward, you'll mm -hmm. enter the main gate of the, um, and there, I only see one other person here. Yeah, exactly. That's why, like, uh, that's why I'm concerned that maybe, maybe we'll wait for everybody else. Yes. Yeah. So once again, it's the uh, conference center uh, directions page mm -hmm. on, their, on the conference center website. And uh, if you go down to the, um, did you, did you enter with, um, I entered with an anonymous avatar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're in unicorn blue. In I the unicorn how, blue. Oh, you, you clicked on the... Yeah, um, yeah exactly. We click, clicked the on the page. Yes, okay. it's, it's supposed to be, yes. All right. All right, yeah. So there's like lots of buildings around, lots of land to cover. Or, you know, you can explore here. There's lots of stuff that is going on. And this is only uh, the central land conference center because there are other... Um, lens in order to see all of them you can click on the map here there is map in the right left corner uh, you can explore it uh, so do i just click on it uh, carl so I don't yeah know. yeah i used to think you had to click on the m but i think you just click anywhere in the map mm -hmm. um okay yeah so anywhere on the map large. yeah yeah and so we are right now before here. you move anything yeah you can see where you are with that red thing and the conference center is the purplish area up into the east a little bit of where we are, mm -hmm. up in there. And uh, the university is to the left of that. So here's the university. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The so green areas are public plazas. Mm -hmm. the, light, the dark blue areas are districts, themed districts, mm -hmm. of which the conference center is one. Um, and, and as you see, you can actually jump in into the place, right? So there's a, yes. and, and, you, and you will just teleport there. That's this right. is as easy as that. Okay, so I will now close the map and see if other people were able. Okay, guys, uh, let Where me know you? if you, yeah. Um, if you're in world and you're not seeing us and we're not seeing you, it might be because you're not in the unicorn blue uh, realm. Okay, let's start. Uh, so, ah, uh, yeah, uh, so, so we're able to get through this, the green stuff that you said. Oh, no, but I actually went to the uh, the the Central Land Conference Center, and I'm, oh. just, I'm waiting if it's going to work. Okay, just are. just loading. Yes. Okay. All right. That's okay. No problem. We'll Can you wait. go back to that for a moment? Yeah. And, um, mm -hmm. To the Decentraland Conference. Yeah. 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 To so that I need website. To escape mm -hmm. again to in yes. order to move my cursor. Yes. Yes, and um, if you if you hover over that main entrance picture. 
Yep. Do you see a URL down on your screen that says? Yeah, unicorn I see unicorn blue. blue. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a unicorn blue. And by the way, this figure here, it's, it's just a mannequin. It's not a real person. Yeah, I need to make them a little bit larger. It turned out the avatar is a little taller than I predicted when I put them in. At the beginning, the avatars weren't visible. Mm. You just had a camera, you know, your eyes, no, <laughs> no, a, no avatar. Um, so <laughs> in order to make the place feel a little less. There you go. And we have some people appearing scale. here. Ah, nice. All right. So Aya, is that you? You have um, yeah, somehow yeah, lost just... your... <laughs> <laughs> I, you have a great mustache. <laughs> okay, I just... Uh... Yeah. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as, as you know, you can change your avatar. So if you, if you click uh, right in the... And by the way, I have to click escape again uh, in, the, in the right... Uh, upper corner and just um, select your avatar again. You can switch back to what you selected. All right. So you, by the patio how, how, cafe, how's everybody so else doing? Uh, so Andrew, uh, how, how are you doing with the, your avatar figure? Oh, and you are on mute. All right. How about Tanya? Yeah, I'm, wait, is this like the main place that you guys are? Uh, so this is, well, this is not the main, but this is the one that we will be using uh, for our opening ceremony for the hackathon. Decentralized Conference Center? Yeah, Decentral Land Conference yeah. Center. Right, right, right. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, I should be there. I am there, but yeah, you are there? I don't know if I see you guys. Oh, yeah, I, you know, I, okay, I can see Carl, okay, but I don't see, let me see. There's a known bug in Decentral Land that people's name tags become blank sometimes. Uh-huh. And I see... Uh, I see Carl. Okay, Carl is here. Okay, so then then you're here. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, That's me jumping up and down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or waving. Oh, by the way, yes. You can actually press the B button, and there is this menu for movements. You can do the movements and try it. So if you press 1, it's going to be waving hands, 2, fist pump, 3, dance, and 4, raise hand. And to remove the menu, press B again. But now I can press, like, for example, three. It's dancing. So my avatar is dancing. There you go. Very fancy move. I don't know if I can do it in the real life. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the beauty. Okay. Yeah. And I can, like, wave as well. And I can raise my hand. Yeah. And I can do the fist. I think yeah. on I think I'm the red shirt and yellow pants guy, but oh, okay. it's different. It's different uh, for me. Yeah. Move, move the uh, like V, select V, okay. and then and then what do you see? Um, I see like it's different for me. I, different I'm, I'm for a, you. I'm a black. Yeah, person. because 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 yeah. you see this is uh, also once you you yeah. have don't if you don't have like permanent name and permanent avatar, this sometimes it just switches. Yes. Yeah, you look. We everybody that. sees you differently. Yeah, the way you can uh, um, identify yourself is by jumping <laughs> the space yeah. bar. Okay. Yep. yep. And the other is uh, if if you are seeing people's name tags, you have you have a particular guest mm -hmm. number which will also show up if you chat. All right. We have starting having people here. That's yeah. good. Okay. You see, that's now. Um, can we guest number to name? Just just to avoid the confusions. Sorry. Say it again. Can we change the guest numbers to name in any way? To uh, no, because the, as I explained, so the guest uh, only can be changed if you if, if uh, avatar is purchased. Like so, yes. So that's that's the only one. Yeah. yeah. I'm there, but you know, 
I guess the character is different, I'm guessing. It's uh, the one in yellow, I think. The yellow t-shirt and the... Yeah, that's, that's supposed to be me. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, like the, the, the girl in the yellow t-shirt, because there are also yeah. guys and guy in the yellow t-shirt. No, yeah. no, the, it's, I'm also the girl in the yellow t-shirt. I think so. Not sure. Let me go back. Elena, you're still using a guest here because you're in... in yeah, and then probably I'm also, yeah, uh, I'm also the, uh, you know, I see my avatar different than every everyone else. Yeah. So I'm jumping right now. So if you, if you see person yep. jumps, it's me. <laughs> hey, um... Uh, uh, Mm -hmm. it, I'm I'm seeing name tags over people's heads that are blank, and I see that you are too, Elena. Oh, okay. um, but other people may be seeing the guest numbers and my name mm -hmm. um, over over our heads. Um, this is a known bug that the name tags can become blank. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if in the future you are dealing with names and want to see who's who, other than just guest numbers, um, the workaround right now is just to hit Control F5 and reload, and then they come back. Okay. It's a known bug. They're going to fix it. But oh, so so if if I hit F5 right now, then I if you hit Control F5, you would control reload. F5? You'd, yeah, and okay. it would take you know uh, to do take that. you control two minutes F5. or something. I'm going to reload right now too. Okay. All right. Yes, I do. I don't see myself on your screens, but I'm just behind Carl and I'm jumping right now. Oh, there. I don't see. My... Ah, you are okay. So, <laughs> oh, you are an African American dude. <laughs> something like that. But in my, in my uh, world, I'm I'm I, I'm a woman. I don't uh -huh. know why it's showing. <laughs> yes, it's funny. I know, but <laughs> yeah. uh, your name. Okay. And also, there is one trick. You can see your name. You can do um, enter. Like, let, let me just um, share my screen. It's better. Zoom is getting on the way a little bit. There you go. Um, okay. So the, there is this. Um, press enter. And start talking in the bottom. Uh, part of the screen, bottom uh, left of the screen. So you can actually press enter and here you can type slash help. And you will see all the commands that there. And actually you can see your, your, your name because you, you can type slash get name. And that's why so you, you, you uh, my display name is guest BD34CF. So I'm 34. <laughs> and also you can click on the people here, on the people profiles there. So for example, Shamima, if I uh, navigate over your dark dude, I can, there. You are guest B005FA. As far as I understand, that's just you. Yep, that's right. Yeah. You can also type slash yeah. players. Yeah, in, you can. Yeah, you can. You get a list of everybody. Yeah, you can type you slash players. Hiding behind mm -hmm. a wall somewhere. Yeah, don't something. forget to press the enter though before. Yeah. Yeah. Players. And we have everybody. There we have uh, five people. Okay. So, um, so guys, how are you doing the, uh, the, the rest of you? Because I, I have no way of knowing who did get here, who didn't. So let me know in a chat or just with your voice if you need help. Uh, because we would like to head further and show you just a little bit further. Um, you will see here the map. And in the map, there is a little spinning thing, which uh, just right about the main entrance, or oh, sorry, the, uh, the bottom of the screen, and that's where you are. So where we're going to be heading to, it's going to be a meeting center. So it's going to be straight and just uh, um, northeast corner. So we're going to head there now. So please, let's go, if you're ready. And on the way, we actually pass uh, the dancing as well. So the dancing is actually happening twice um, a week here. So other people who are in the Decentraland, so they will all gather, not all of them, but some of them will gather here, but these two times for the dancing. So you can also come just to practice. And do you still see me? Yes, yes, everybody following. Yeah, that's cool. I see 34. Yeah, all right. 
All right, and at this point, you will start hearing the music. And it can be kind of loud and yeah. hard to hear our voices. So at the top of the browser tab, okay. uh, the Decentraline browser tab, there's a little sound icon. Mm -hmm. If you right click on that, you can mute the music. There you go. When people are busy dancing, they're usually not talking too much, they're chatting. And so chat this is the dance area. Yeah, and by the way, if I click here, press enter and click mute, can I mute the music? No, nope. I can't. But Carl showed me a little trick, right? So Carl is here. Uh, no, the right is next it, to the X. Ah, right next to the X. Okay. So here this is mute I site. have said there. And right I can do mute site. Mm -hmm. There. Yeah. That turns okay. off the audio from that web page. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, then you can hear. There you go. Better. All right. So yeah, so so here the dance uh, parties are happening. People are gathering and dancing here. All right, and so I have somebody those stuck. Times we actually have a live. A live okay, I have somebody show. stuck, so I'm just going to walk here. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Are we are we supposed to be in eleven ninety four? Eleven ninety four. Uh, no, go north and a little okay. east towards uh, 14, 14 up that area. Sorry? Yes. Where do we have to be? So we are right now at the, at the, at the dancing place, and the coordinates are. 15101. 15 one, one. And by the way, to jump okay. here, yeah. To jump, you, you can actually do uh, go to and type 15101, right? So, mm -hmm. and then it, it, you will end up here as well. But it's, of course, you need to time to load your browser again. Oh, no, I did that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, you're going to get your name tags <laughs> back now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. that's true. That's true. Yeah. At least I will get my tag names. Yes. So bear with me. Guys. We'll wait for you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we, um, we're about to head to the meeting center where we will head, um, we will have our opening ceremony. At this moment, we're actually trying to get Vitalik there to speak because he's our speaker for the opening ceremony. And uh, we hope that we can, you know, get him to speak in the central land. But also, it's people who could not join uh, in the central land there and see him like his avatar also will be opening up his speech in, in Zoom too. All right, I'm almost there, hopefully. It would be funny if I end up in some other place and I need to walk all the way. Should be fine. Oh, your URL is good. Yeah, my, my URL is correct, 15101. These scenes have, um, the, the builders of a scene can specify where a person uh, spawns. Mm -hmm. And so you might sometimes notice that you pick a coordinates, but when you get there, you're in a little different place. It's a different place. Mm -hmm. You had a, you you were using a coordinate that was within a scene, but that's not where the maker wants you to land. So the landing spot for this scene is out here around this this pole here, in the patio. Mm -hmm. It's a zone actually. It's kind of random where you land in it. All right. It's taking a little bit of time. Yeah, it's made worse, I think, because you're also running Zoom. And because I'm on Zoom, yes. Streaming videos and sharing yes. your screen. And yeah, it's yeah. A, lot of, a lot of stuff going on. It's amazing that it all works. Yeah, I will try to close my other applications that actually may, might be eating my processing power. So I can see Carl. I think I'm there. Okay. What's your guest number? You know? Uh, it's zero zero five for Shimmy. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. You're right next to me. 
guest uh, C25, CA8 C25. Are you okay? You're, you're way over on the patio corner. You've been there for a little while. Can you walk? Are you able to get around? Yes, I see you walking. All right. So I, I was worried also like some people's kind of, uh, internet might not be strong enough. So Carl, do you know any, I think, mean, minimal requirements for the internet that we are supposed to have? Well, um, speed. No, I mean, you, you certainly want to have a, an internet connection that can handle a few megabits per second mm -hmm. at least. Um, mm -hmm. If you can get 10 or above, you should be fine. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, you want to have a, a, a reasonably good graphics subsystem in the computer, but it doesn't have to be a real high end like a NVIDIA one, although that's better. Um, mm -hmm. Even just uh, Intel HD graphics, it just does fine. Um, you know, the worst thing that's going to happen is that as you, you know, turn or move, it'll be jerky mm -hmm. and it gets, it gets jerkier when there's lots of people in a scene or when there's, depending upon how much content is around, et cetera. I notice that sometimes when I'm the only person seeing when I run it, I just go really fast and smooth, but when there's other people around, it, it doesn't move quite so quickly. One of the things that's happening is every avatar is sending information about its position, orientation, its movement, its animations to every other avatar. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a lot of the communication that's going on um, because the, the content of the scene is loaded. And it's rendering all in your in your laptops um, or your machine's uh, browser graphic subsystem. Um, so the, the network traffic is when you're entering a new scene, when stuff's arriving, content, or the inter intercommunications between the avatar positions and things. That's what um, occupies most of the networking. Got it. Okay, so we can, I, I think we, we can ready to head to, yeah, yeah to, to the meeting center. Show people centric. how do you can tell what's north. See okay, so north and the map. If you see the map, uh, the purple map uh, on the right, oh sorry, left uh, top corner. So the one with the red dot, spinning red dot. So once you uh, make your avatar turn the way that it's uh, arrow on the little red dot pointing to the north, you can start walking in this direction using your W, and that will be north. So we, from now we're gonna go to north and east, right? North and a little east, yeah. In little east. So, so if you see me, I walked all the way north until the road here. So there's a little road. And then I'm going to turn east and walk here as well. So, yeah. If you hold the shift key down, you walk slowly. If you don't hold the shift key down while you're walking, you all right, run. We, I think we lost somebody. So I come back and grab. So Shamim, you're here still because this is... This is your guy? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So let's maybe follow me. Where's my cursor? <laughs> All right. Okay. And yeah, so we're going to go this way. There's a, you can exit from the cafe through the little gap in the wall there if you want. I, I don't oh, see. I'm, I'm speaking to uh, 0005. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's Shamim, yes. Yeah, Shamim, you, you see where I am here? So, You're facing toward me. If you just walk over here. So, yeah, Carl is jumping right now. So if you walk yeah, towards him. Walk. Yeah. There. There's a, there's a door in the wall here. You can just walk right out. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to kind of go this direction. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to turn east and head east. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, there's another map here. Look at that. This map says we are now yeah, we are. mostly south of the meeting center. Mm -hmm. So we could go north from here. North from here, mm -hmm. yes. So across this undeveloped land here. Don't trip on the rocks. So, Carl, this the lens divisions. It's it's in like the parcels of the land. Are they somehow like we can see restricted them in here and in this world? Like, wh where are the borders? That's what I was. Um, sometimes you can see the borders because a scene is you know if one scene has a different ground cover than mm -hmm. the next, um, you'll see the 
But if out in the undeveloped land like this, you cannot see them. But as you cross them, the numbers up in the URL do change. Mm -hmm. Okay. As so I'm going north, I switched from 108 to 109. I can see some bit. people following. Yeah. yeah, I'm walking by holding W and shift. Oh, W and shift, so you would yes, not it slows walk. you down. Shift so this was not like walk, down, walk down too shift. fast, too fast. Okay. All right. Did we lose anybody? Is it... all right? I think everybody's here. Keep walking north if okay. you haven't gotten up to this other road yet. Mm-hmm. Feels yeah, like we're one short of people. Yeah, and one. Mm -hmm. All right. If anybody lost, let us know. Because, Twenty-five is in here. Because we didn't do the head count from the very beginning. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna run back south. You just wait here, and I'll see mm -hmm. if I can find anybody that seems to be lost. All right. Um, Ooh, somebody's fly, flying. I, right I past found me. twenty-five. Oops. Awesome. She just disappeared and she may be rebooted. We logged. Is Shamim 25? No, Shamim is 005. Okay, so whoever was 25 oh, yeah, just disappeared no, I was suddenly, and that is consistent with uh, crashing or, or relogging, reloading. It's like we need a rope and everybody holding on to it. All right, so we are ready to go inside. Is everybody yes. here? All right. I, is everybody here? Whoever was 25 might not be 25 when they relog. <coughs> so I think there's right. still one person behind us somewhere, but. Okay. And is and there any way to find these people? Is, there's no way, right? To find people like uh, quickly. Now there used to be dots on the mini map. But, uh -huh. took those but off not anymore? Sure. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, we'll yeah we're, missing, we're missing one person. There's uh, just four guests now instead of five. All right. You've had five for a while. Oh. No. No, those hellos could be really old. Okay. Okay, guys, if you lost, let us know. Yeah, speak up. If because because right now we, we're trying to find you very, uh, very hard. Oh, O5E might be the new number of, I don't remember that number from before. Anyway, so one, two, let's see. And, uh, and I'm walking towards you as well. All right. I think. Yeah, we're still only at four, but. Um, but uh, here, I'm, I'm, I'm the fifth one. Or you, you counted me too. I'm f I see four guests. Um, okay, yes. Myself. Yes. Um, oh, it used to be five people in total. Yeah. Um, I'm not hearing anybody speak up saying yes. That okay, lost. guys, if you hear lost, uh, please unmute your microphone and speak up. All right, I have something in the chat. Oh, okay. So, um, I yes, it said like her, hers is lagged and it closed the entire like everything closed down. So that's yes. why probably we lost her. Yeah. Unfortunately. Close the browser right. and head back in. Yeah. All right. Uh, but I, uh, you can uh, watch the recording, the one that we already did, and this is a kind of funny video that I put together that also explained how to get here to the meeting center. Mm -hmm. All right, so maybe let's head there. Now, the uh, other thing is that the, um, the DCLConf uh, mm -hmm. site's directions page has links to the various venues, and those links don't all use the same realms. And, and the purpose, the reason I did that is that in case there was more than one meeting going on in the conference center, mm -hmm. uh, groups of people that were using a venue, obviously you're most interested in seeing each other. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we have walked up here from, um, from the entrance in the dancing area, this unicorn blue, 
But if you go to DCLConf and, and click the link, you'd be in a different realm. So it's possible that somebody has come back in through the link to the meeting center. and we But they would tell us, uh, you know. Yeah, I think they would tell us. It. If you're at the meeting center and it doesn't say unicorn hyphen blue in the URL, that's that would explain why mm -hmm. we're not seeing you and you're not seeing us. In the meantime, shall we enter the building? Yes, let's go. Okay. Um, there's an entrance here, and then if you go through this door to the right. Now, a lot of these walls are have no colliders. You can walk right through them. But uh, we'll pretend that there's a hallway that you have to walk in, and you walk up towards the front of the building here. There's a couple of entrances to this room, but it's the northmost room in the building. Okay, let's see people. That's the one that has uh, signage around and it has a. Mm -hmm. uh, um, All right, so here's the when uh, this is where we will be holding the talks. So some of the speakers actually will speak as early as in May in, in, in here, and we will invite you to hear, to, uh, to hear their speeches too from here. So it's, it's going to be fun. And Carl will be doing it, right, as well, through his speech. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, uh, so we have some people lost. I'll go find. Okay. I find, I found, who is that? Is that, this is Shamim. Hi, Shimmy. Yeah, you cannot walk through the signs okay. and posters. Yes, so, so, the signs. Uh, yeah, you, just, or you can walk in the hallways and come north. You can walk through the walls, but you cannot walk through the signs. That's the <laughs> rule. So look, just walk through the walls. <laughs> <laughs> so no wires, no walls here. So yeah. that's. <laughs> it's possible that by the by the time we have the conference, I'll have the colliders up for the walls, which will make the building much less confusing. I think people, you know, naturally we walk uh, around the walls because mm -hmm. for us, we know even no, not even occur to us, you know, if we can walk through the wall. Right. So yeah, I don't. So think when you do walk through a wall by mistake, it, it can be quite confusing. Because now where am I? <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> Especially room. when you don't know that you, yeah. you're supposed to walk. <laughs> Um, yeah, so basically, uh, this is what we wanted to show you. I, I think for today. Um, so tomorrow we're also going to bring another group and you're welcome to join. And maybe tomorrow we will have a little bit more to show as well uh, other places in the Decentraland. But this is something that um, essential to our event. And, uh, but you're welcome to, again, to go to Decentraland at, at any time and explore and go to different places and see how you can navigate. Uh, next week we will be explaining how to purchase your uh, permanent nickname if you wish to do so. Uh, it costs about $3 right now, as far as I understand, Carl, right? 370 yeah. today. Yeah, something like this, 370 So for some people, it's still a big money because uh, some people, who, you know, who join uh, us from you know, other countries, it's still, mm -hmm. it's still a big money. So we need to see how we can solve this problem for people like this. And um, uh, But again, free avatar will do just fine you know for this for the purpose that we have it in here currently of course yeah. if you'd like to you know permanently come to the central land and build on it you know program on it then of course permanent avatar would be essential as far as i understand right carl yeah mm -hmm. yep yeah the uh um if you want to deploy content to land you have to own that land or have permission to deploy to it mm -hmm. and that is associated with your ethereum wallet mm -hmm. and um yeah you might as well so the per permission an identity yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so permissions are based on your identity that is uh attached to your wallet and this is something that we will be explaining next week All right. So, so this is what, uh, we, guys, we wanted to show you today. Thank you so much for attending. Um, and you, by the way, you all got points in DAO by attending this session. So, congratulations. Nice. Uh, we will be uh, finalizing the DAO uh, next week. So, we will have uh, all our 
by the time I think we'll, we have all of the wallets and Ethereum addresses because they all will be associated with your wallets as well because we would like to track your contribution on a blockchain. You're, you're very welcome, everybody. Yes, to uh, it was a pleasure. So if you, for some reason, was not able to, you know, load your browser today or something happened, we're going to be having uh, this session tomorrow as well. Uh, so please join us and it's going to be just two hours later than today's session. For example, today we started at um, 3 p.m. Toronto time, so tomorrow it will be 5 p.m. And um, the uh, at, fi at 5 p.m. UTC, um, excuse me, at 10 mm -hmm. p.m. UTC, 10 PM UTC tomorrow, UTC. Yeah. Uh, there, the DJ will be playing music for dancing mm -hmm. in, the, um, in the cafe. So after we after the session tomorrow, uh, people probably can figure out how to dance. Exactly, and then we can go, go all together. You know, head to dancing, and then meet other people that are in, in the central land. Okay, guys, and thank you, can you very much. Anytime you want. Yes, absolutely. Yes. The central land is open to the public, yeah. and the conference center is open to the public. Uh, mm -hmm. Unless somebody has a has rented a space and is using it for something, um, all other spaces all the time are just open to explore and um, have fun, learn. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, if you have any okay. questions, shoot us a message on Discord. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you tomorrow or on the next community call. Thank you.